Hello again, everyone. I'm Ralph Fentry here inside the NEC Front Row Studio. It's time for NEC Women's Basketball on the run. First, a big thank you to Craig D'Amico. He was a late substitution last week. Did a great job hosting the show. Now, I'm back and I'm ready to go. Let's take a look at where we stand. Not even one quarter of the way through the conference schedule, only two unbeatens remain. Eight of the league's 10 teams have at least one NEC loss, but not Robert Morris and not Sacred Heart. The SHU Pioneers have shot out to a 4-0 start. This past weekend, they posted a 12-point win over Wagner, then a last second victory over Bryant. We'll have some more details on the ending of that game in our next segment. Also atop the NEC standings, a perfect 4-0, the preseason favorite, Robert Morris Colonials. Lockdown defense, a surge in scoring since the start of the new year. The Colonials have won each of their four NEC games by double-digit margins. Sacred Heart, Robert Morris, still perfect in NEC play, but 14 games to go. A lot can and will happen until then, and will follow all season long right here on NEC Front Row. She gets buckets, and by she, I mean Sacred Heart graduate student, Katherine Haynes. 6'2 forward is a former NEC most improved player, and she is currently the Northeast Conference Player of the Week. Haynes with two monster double doubles to help Sacred Heart move to 4-0 last week, and she came through in the clutch against Bryant, she scored the Pioneers final four points of a 49-48 victory, including the game-winning free throws with just nine seconds left. Haynes has been a dominant force since conference play tipped off, averaging 19.8 points, nearly 11 rebounds per conference game. She's a versatile forward. Yes, she does most of the damage in the low post, but she can step back and hit the three, and she's also money at the free throw line. 13 of 14 made from the charity stripe last week. Cat Haynes getting free throws, getting rebounds, getting buckets. And now we go to the tweet sheet as I call the Twitter timeout. This one from St. Francis Brooklyn head coach Linda Simino. You can find her on Twitter at Coach Sim. And Coach Sim welcomed a very special guest this past weekend, longtime U.S. Congressman and St. Francis College alumnus Peter King from Long Island. He was an honorary coach for his alma mater, and he got to see the Terriers post a 78-65 victory over the defending NEC champion St. Francis Red Flash. King was probably thrilled to discover that his alma mater is the number one scoring offense in the Northeast Conference 75.4 points per game overall this season. They are also shooting better than 40% from downtown. So it was a good day in the Pope Center and U.S. Congressman Peter King was there to watch it unfold. That's amazing, bro. Well, Robert Morris was our stats amazing topic last week, and the Colonials are back again. Craig focused on the defensive prowess. This week, 
I'm going to take a look at the Colonials on the offensive side of the ball. In four conference games this season, Robert Morris leads the circuit with 76.2 points per NEC game. And that comes despite the fact not one Colonial ranks amongst the NEC's top 15 scorers. No one in the top 15 individually, but Coach Buscalia's team is still piling up the points against conference opponents, and that is because of the balance and the depth. Three different leading scorers in their first four league games. Ten different players have scored points in NEC contests. They say the sum is better than the parts, and that's the case with the Robert Morris offense in conference play leading the league, and stats amazing. As for your game to watch this week, we'll hone in on the Battle of Brooklyn, St. Francis Brooklyn against neighborhood rival LIU Brooklyn. They've been playing this game for the last 25 years. The tradition started in 1994. You may notice that these teams usually meet twice per season on the NEC schedule, but every year, one of those two meetings is designated as the Battle of Brooklyn. This year's version is also a battle of besties as head coach Linda Simino for St. Francis Brooklyn and LIU's head coach Stephanie Del Priori are longtime friends. They both coached together on the same staff when Simino was the head coach at D2 Caldwell University in New Jersey. So a new wrinkle now on the Battle of Brooklyn, and you can read all about this long-running rivalry on NECOvertime.com. Craig D'Amico with a feature story on the Battle of Brooklyn. Check it out on the Overtime blog, and don't forget to watch this MLK Day special between the Blackbirds and Terriers. So that will do it for our show as we move into the third week of NEC play. NEC Front Row will be your one-stop shop for all women's hoops on Martin Luther King Day. We have a full slate for you, including the aforementioned Battle of Brooklyn. Then, after the dust settles, we'll return to the NEC Front Row studio and review it all again next week. I'm Ralph Ventry. Thank you for watching. NEC Women's Basketball on the Run.